Well, hello, you fabulous humans. Today I feel a bit like purple. I don't normally go for the colour, but today I will do it for you. It's purple day. Today is the day that around the world we are talking even more about epilepsy. Who would do that right? Well, since epilepsy affects so many millions of people, I mean, in the UK alone, at least 600,000 people, and that's only the people with the epilepsy itself. It's not even taking into consideration friends, family members, carers, if you have them. You know, we're talking about a distinctly large group of people in the world. So, what is epilepsy? How long have you got? It is such a complex neurological condition. Um, I often say it does my head in. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, it is so interesting. I know that sounds a bit sick, like why would one be looking on that side of things when it's such an awful, awful condition? I tell you why, it gives me something positive to focus on. And by speaking to lots of people affected by epilepsy, you'll find, yeah, they get it. Because there isn't much great about epilepsy at all. So I've given you some statistics. Now, let me also tell you that there are around 60 different types of epileptic seizure. Yeah, 60 different types. I could be having one right now. You might not notice. And there are rare epilepsies too. We have about 130 uh, rare epilepsies so far. And again, this is why epilepsy research is so important and exciting. So what else can I tell you? Oh, I've had brain surgery, for those who don't know. I had a left temporal lobe resection. I always blame my memory on that, but I tell you what, prior to the epilepsy, uh, prior to the surgery rather, my memory was really pants then as well, but that was probably down to the anti-epileptic drugs themselves, so. What else? Um, another cool thing I would ask you guys to pay attention to, um, okay. Maybe this takes a bit of reading, but like for instance, today I've got this, I had this delivered, or well, I just took my post and it was in there. It's the Epile Epilepsy Professional um, magazine, Epilepsy Action actually. New drug targets, new micro RNA targets for epilepsy medicines. So things are getting more precise. So rather than, so like about 20, 30 years ago, we had uh, clinicians, neurologists would just go, here you go, darlings, you've got a couple of drugs to choose from, maybe slightly more, but a couple of drugs. Good luck with that. That's kind of what it was. Now we have over 20 medications. Um, not everybody has access to those, but that's another topic. Um, and we have, of course, had the surgeries, which I mentioned my own of. I'm so lucky to have had access to wonderful care. Um, and of course, surgeon from UCL, uh, University College London, Queen Square. Um, there is way more info out there than many of us realize. It's just a question of accessing it, right? So, I recognised that I was a bit of the weirdo being so interested in the science behind the epilepsy as a patient. And then I realised that loads and loads of people, if not the majority of people that I had met affected by epilepsy, didn't have a clue about what was going on behind the scenes in research labs um, and how neurologists were involved in that as well. They don't just see us slot. So I thought, why don't we start talking about it? because it is so exciting, right? So that's what pretty much led to Epilepsy Sparks. Um, if you guys don't know, that is my company. Um, and if you also haven't visited it, um, epilepsysparks.com, we've got like a page for labs. With, and I can tell you the people that I've spoken to from those labs are amazing, <laughs> so inspiring. Um, we've got a page for, and this is quite new, for research that you could possibly be involved in, so check that out too. Um, it's uh, got, it's basically all about learning. And the more you, well, unfortunately, the more you learn, the more you realise you don't know, but <laughs> look at it as a positive thing. There's always more stuff to learn that's exciting. Um, and for those of you who haven't checked it out yet, um, also I've got my own personal blog, toryrobinson.com, where I like to think that I kind of write about the things that some people might not write about. Um, the list of things that I've got include, should one say, very personal relationships? Um, uh, what else? Just things that, you know, I think 
we should all be talking about. We are all of the same species and as different as we may come across face to face or by our accents or whatever, you know, so many differences, us humans are so silly like that. Um, we have so much in common. Now, initially it's an awful thing that we have in common, granted, but you'll find, wow, there are people on the other side of the world who get where I'm coming from and, and vice versa. And uh, yeah, it's just really, some people I think this is quite a, a la -da word to use, but I find it all quite enthralling. Enthralling and to know that we have so many people who are kind of singing from the same hymn sheet. Now let's all get together today. Well, unless you're watching it before or after, but Purple Day. And let's all kind of ensure that we learn as much as possible about epilepsy. Um, look in the mirror and realise that we should be open to contradiction as well. Uh, realise that we should appreciate, value, empirical evidence and realise that we need to have some conversations with our politicians because without funding for research and care, nothing will happen. We can't expect everybody to do everything for free. Um, and so and we also need to tell them that through performing this exciting research and in investing in care, we are not only benefiting the people with epilepsy, even though there's only 600,000 in this country, or there's only you know, at least 65 million people in the world with it, but we're also benefiting the people that love us, the people that care about us. We're even benefiting employers and we are benefiting the economy. So even for those who only look at things from a financial perspective, I don't care if you don't care, honestly, it's fine. Just recognise that investing in epilepsy research, investing in care um, and investing in education. I don't want to leave off pseudep actually, um, sudden unexpected death by epilepsy. And I'll do another video about um, pseudep action. It, to, what was I going to say? Epilepsy brain. Oh my goodness. But basically, we need investment from governments in order to better people's lives. It will benefit everybody, not solely those with the diagnosis. And also, as I did say at a rather high profile meeting recently to a politician, if you do do good for us lot and those that love us, mate, you are gonna have a vote, an extra vote or seven or 10 or 100, whatever. So anyway, please share this uh, video, whether you share it on Purple Day, whether you share it afterwards, just let's get that message out to everybody. Epilepsy is something that affects societies and not only those with the diagnosis. And it, you can look at things through the eyes of a scientist. If we, I, I try. <laughs> um, and find exciting things out about it rather than us only, of course, thinking about the seizures themselves um, and thinking about SUDEP and and all the other psychiatric comorbidities that so often come with epilepsy. Let's look about preventative measures to enable people to have fulfilling lives. Let's try and prevent occurrences of SUDEP. Let's try and prevent people from having seizures that should they have received the appropriate care, they wouldn't have had them, you know? So anyway, I'm going round in circles here. Please share this with anybody you think may or may not be interested in because together we can achieve so much more.